Hello friends and welcome to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today we're going to be continuing on with the Duraladon and Didi, Hadarine, Tokol, Venusaur, and the Passimian team that we kicked off with earlier in the week. Uh, firstly, before we get into anything, I just want to say I hope you are all well. Keep it safe as always, and um, I hope the, the whole situation lockdown thing is going all right for you guys um work has been tough today work has been really tough today um i'm really looking forward to the weekend it must seem really strange for those of you that are in lockdown where every day kind of merges into one um and weekends aren't really a thing but i just need a little rest and i don't know how long it's going to be before i'm like working weekends as well so let's see um i've not had that much time so um, we're still in Great Ball tier. Uh, I, I normally like to try and rank up to um, Master tier before we jump into these because it's a Master Ball rank tier series, I guess. But we haven't had much chance, so do forgive me uh, for not having much uh, time to do that. We're actually paired up against rank number 9 in the world at the minute, so that that it should be a pretty good game. Sir G, what a great name as well. Running a team of Torkoal, Charizard, Togekiss, Dusclops, Venusaur, and the Rhyperia. Very strong call. You got the, the Sun call there with the Charizard, um, you know, supported by the Torkoal set in the Sun. And then the Venusaur is going to take advantage of that with its Chlorophyll. You've got the redirection support from the Togekiss there as well, just giving it an ex extra dimension, helping set the Trick Room up for that Dusclops, and then getting the, the Rhyperia in along with the Torkoal to abuse that Trick Room mod of the team. It's going to be a bit tricky because uh, they're their kind of main trick room users is a bit slower than ours. Um, what are we going to do? I always knew that Charizard is going to be difficult for this team to deal with for sure. Um, okay. I think we're going to have to rely on the power of our Sleep Powder. And maybe our DD to lead off with. What's our backup plan here? <laughs> okay, we'll go Hat. And um, let's go Torkoal as well. Let's bench Duraludon for this one. Could be potentially decent. But too much fire. I feel a little bit uncomfortable. See how we get on in this first one. Do excuse the hair as well. Uh, there's no hairdressers, as you know, open. There's no barbers, hairdressers anywhere for me to go and get a haircut. So I've tried to do the best I can <laughs> with the situation that we have at the minute. It's not It's not ideal. Just that I, I cycle to work now. I have to try and sort this out when I get to work before I start. <laughs> Imagine. It's the worst. It literally is. It's not the worst, but it could be worse. There's worse things to complain about, but I do worry about it at the minute. Okay, so we got Charizard. We got the, the Dusclops coming up. Uh, there's a Frisk revealing the safety goggles on our side of the field on our NDD. Um, hmm. We probably lose Venusaur here, I imagine. Uh, and we don't have the greatest of switches. I don't imagine the Dusclops goes for a, a Trick Room yet. But we can put the Charizard to sleep. So if it does max, then we can punish that. Um, and then I think we'll just go for a Psychic into... It'd be nice. It's probably got Pain Split, right? So is it worth it? Is it worth it? It probably is worth just getting some damage off onto it right now. If the Charizard does get put to sleep, then we can concentrate on that a little more the next turn, I guess. Um, so we'll see what my opponent decides to go for here. We've got the Sash on the Venusaur, so unless we see like Shadow Sneak and then a move from the Charizard, we're pretty safe in assuming that we are going to get our Sleep Powder off. The Dusclops switches out, no Trick Room coming out here. It's going to be nice to kind of catch the Tall Call here, and I don't know if I really agree with this play from my opponent because they're giving Venusaur the Speed Boost straight away. So now, good night Charizard, unless it's got a Lum, and this is all planned. It's not planned. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to get a big psychic off into this Torkoal, which is going to do some nice damage. Uh, a really... Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Oof. It's not the greatest of turns for my opponent at all. Um, I'm going to go for the Earth part into the Torkoal now, and I'm going to go for a psychic into the Charizard. It should do some nice damage there. Um, if the Charizard... is it, What's the Charizard going to do? It needs to really wake up here and go for its, its G-Max move. Um, into the Venusaur because then that will break the Sash, obviously, and um, we don't even need to worry about going for a Sleep Powder into the Torkoal. I mean, we may see the Torkoal switch out. 
Oh, Charizard withdraws. But we're kind of pinning my opponent here, you know? That, that's a nice thing. Um, Toko's gonna protect, I imagine. Yeah, so it's fine. Because the next turn, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely try and put this Dusclops to sleep because I don't want um, a Trick Room gone up really right now. It wouldn't be in our best interest. And um, the thing is, if we even if we see an Ally switch, we kind of mitigate that because the Toll Call will be in that slot and we we shut down that thing being able to attack. So we'll just keep psychicking. Psychicking is that even a word? Um, with our Indeedy, it should take the talk all down, but it's likely going to switch in anything that comes in on it. Like if Venusaur's in the back, I'd imagine it'd be the Rhyperia alongside the, the Charizard. Since you're pairing it with the Dusclops, that would make a lot more sense, at least. So we'll see. Just hopefully our, um, our Sleep Powder hits. Venusaur is on point today. Good, good Venusaur. Right, and this Psychic should take down the Torkoal. And then we're, <laughs> we're kind of back to square one, aren't we? The Charizard comes back in. Um, so we'll we'll just wait and see. Dusclops taking a turn of sleep. Now we have to be a little bit careful because um, the Dusclops can wake up in Trick Room any time now. It has burnt one turn of sleep, so it can wake up at any point. But fingers crossed... It gets all three turns. That would be a magical, magical moment. Uh, it's going to be the Togekiss. I wonder if it's got safety goggles. It is kind of trend tending to be um, more of a, a common item on the Togekiss right now. But, 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 but. Do we max? No, I don't really want to max with Venus. I'd rather max with Hatterene, um over anything else. I think I'm just going to double into the Togekiss here. A sludge bomb and the psychic and just take advantage of the terrain while I've got it up um, I don't we might see the toga kiss max here and if it's got weakness policy that's something else we have to worry about or protect uh, okay All right well this club's gonna wake up you're gonna remember we still got follow me to, to take advantage of. Now, the Togekiss is in a real sticky spot here. We could go for the Sleep Powder, um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go for for these attacks. I just want to keep the pressure on uh, because in, just in case the Charizard switches in to try and kind of soak up a potential Sleep Powder coming out into the Togekiss, it means we get big damage onto it at least. Um, but we're not going to see any switches. And I think a Psychic is going to be more than enough. We do actually pick up the, the Poison there. Um... Does that speed in DD, unfortunately, but I mean, it's kind of worth it at this point. We, we've done enough work, I feel, with this pairing to kind of warrant just attacking like we are. Um, Psychic should be more than enough to take down the Togekiss and uh, the little Charizard coming back in. The sun will fade, I think, this turn. We are going to just see a Nightshade uh, into Venusaur, getting rid of that, which is fine. Again, I don't mind too much. Uh, and the psychic terrain does disappear, which isn't ideal for our hat, for our big hat, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, Charizard coming in, still asleep. Uh, we can max and just psychic that slot. I feel like that's not a bad play. I mean, we could go for a trick room, but do we need to? Probably not. Probably not. So we'll just go max mindstorm, and we'll go for a helping hand into the hat and that should be enough to take down the Charizard we'll probably see the Charizard max here I would imagine it's like my opponent hasn't maxed at all they're kind of obviously waiting for the opportunity to uh, to max but um, the sleep disruption and the kind of constant pressure that we've been putting on their side of the field and getting a little bit lucky with our sleep powder hits has meant that they really haven't been in a position to do that yet it would make sense if Charizard does max here so it can probably soak up a bit more damage a little easier but we're not seeing it at all no max so looks like hat is going to be able to seal this one up for us because like if this hits i mean it doesn't matter what the charizard does here like hatterene's not gone down 
So. Did we even need to help in hand? Probably not. Yeah, and there we go. We'll be able to set up this uh, the terrain again at least. Ah, uh, yeah. Charizard going down. Terrain up. And what are we going to see? The Dust Club today. Nightshade, probably. But we can just double into it this next turn. We could probably go for the Smite just to get the, the additional confusion effect onto it. So, makes it a little bit quicker for us. Actually, into the Ndidi. Um, forgetting that it maybe is a, I don't know, a normal type as well. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but there we go. The battle's cancelled. So very good game to Mr. G and uh, a nice, oh, sorry, not Mr. Sir. The Honourable Sir G. Um, but yeah, nice way for us to kick off today, especially against such a high rated opponent as well. Um, ninth in the world, even so early on. In the um in the, the new ranking season what are we two days in now <laughs> look at the points come on you would think like ninth place currently on the ranked ladder and you smidge smidge okay well we continue on and uh we'll see if we can probably find another high rated opponent that'd be great if we can let's see come on be high be high be high Oh, it's not even rank 9, is it? I'm just getting confused because rank 9 is just the ultra ball, isn't it? I'm so dumb. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> okay, well, we'll go with 9th. <laughs> oh, that last one. I can't believe that. <laughs> okay. Well, comedy value in every episode. I will guarantee that for you, my friends. Uh, we've got Tony up next playing a team of Togekiss, Grimmsnarl, Incineroar, Mudsdale, Ninetales, and Venusaur. Sun is so popular at the minute. Uh, it really is. This team's kind of not went for the Charizard here. M went more for... Um, I wonder where your, your Maxmon is going to be. Probably Venusaur. Your main mode, probably Venusaur with the Ninetales. Max Ooze boost special attack and Ninetales. Maybe got a choice spec to boost that uh, attack overall. And then you've got kind of a Trick Room check in the Mudsdale. Uh, Incineroar going to be a helpful pivot. Disrupt with Fake Out, Intimidate Snarl, and stuff like that. Uh, Grim Snarl, and then the Togekiss. So, hmm, maybe, maybe. Duraludon probably isn't the best here, to be honest. Um, but I could see Togekiss leading. I really could. Should we go with that Trick Room mod to kick us off? I think we probably should. Let's do that. Uh, let's go Duraludon, and... Let's go Persimian. I fancy bringing Pissimi into this one. So. See how we get on. See how the Trick Room mod does here. Might have been a good idea to bring Torkoal as well, but. I think we'll be alright. I think we'll be alright with our Psychic Spam. So it is going to be Togekiss and. Olagana. Olagana. Is that how we're saying it? Where's that from? Um, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, do I just, do I just trick room? Do I just trick room? I think we do just trick room, don't we? Um, they probably expect, um, should I just follow me just to, just in case? Or we could get a cheeky psychic off into the Togekiss. Um... Yeah, let's follow me just to be safe. We don't want to risk anything. We don't want to be like it's too early on. We want to just guarantee a trick room up. Let's just take it easy. Let's not make any rash decisions. Let's get this follow me up and see what my opponent goes for. Okay, the light screen. I haven't seen support Grimmsnarl in a long time, doesn't game yeah. So we could have got that cheeky psychic off. A little bit unfortunate, but it's all right, isn't it? It's all right. It's fine. Uh, the light screen makes things a little bit more difficult, for sure. Uh, let's go for a smite into Grimmsnarl. And let's go for a psychic into Togekiss. The confusion here would be nice, you know. We can maybe get some hit ourselves in confusion sort of action going on. I remember the first time I used G-Max 
had a ring and literally the first match with it i think i got like every chance there was the, the the opportunity for the opponent to hit themselves they did it was one of the greatest moments and from that moment on i just fell in love with g max hat we are going to see the grim snarl switch out and volnova come in which is the nine tails okay well gonna resist the attack so not ideal but it could be worse um we've got to be careful where we throw our psychics out because now they're the grim snarls in the back i wouldn't have thought the incineral comes to this match but you never know you never know um but like i said getting the confusion out into the field is going to be useful nonetheless I'll probably just see another dazzling gleam from the toga kiss i would imagine the light screen is going to massively help out my opponent. So Toga Kiss, confused. Confused, come on, hit yourselves in confusion. Bow down to hat. <laughs> okay, the psychic. Can we get the special defense drop? We do! Indeedy, I love you. <laughs> You're the best. You're the best. Or is... Ah, uh, Mystical Fire. Okay, well, there's the special attack drop, which is a nice tech, really nice tech, actually. Um, okay, so we got the confusion going. Um, do we just plow into the toad? Uh, do I? I feel like I want to mind storm into the nine tails. I should still get rid of it. Uh, we'll go double into the nine tails here. I'm gonna kick myself a little bit if we see a protect, but we've already seen a protect from the Togekiss. No, we haven't. That was the previous match, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. It's been a long day, guys. I've been working all day. It's been really tough. Cycle, like, always cycle today. Like, 22k? Okay. Pampros. Ah, the horse. Okay, we do get the... If this gets nine tails, that's ideal. Yeah, we get it. And then we can get a bit of damage onto this Mudsdale, so... Um, yeah. This helps a bit. Come on, get this special defense drop again. Keep the pressure on, Indeedy. <laughs> okay. All we need to do is ask and we get it. This Indeedy is the best Indeedy. Um, alright. Well, the Togekiss is definitely our priority to get rid of. Um, because Pissimian has a way better time against it. Okay, the Grimmsnarl coming in. Hmm. Probably going to see the Mudsdale Max, right? I would say that's that's where we're going to see it, Max. Like, Mudsdale Max, we don't really have great ways to deal with it. Other than these two Pokemon right here. Hmm. Swagger as well. Well, we need to see the Safeguard at first. Which we could see. Um, okay, let's go. Double in to the Mudsdale. Yeah, Psychic and Smite and get some confusion out into the field. Okay, we're going to see the, the Grimstar switch into Togekiss, which is fine. We're going to see the Max. Max, yeah, there we go. Now, really, ideally, we want the confusion, we want the Mudsdale to be hitting itself in confusion here. That would be the best case scenario. It's going to be tricky taking this, well, taking everything down. Like, Duraludon does pretty good against the Togekiss and the, um, the Grim Snarl. It's just this Pampros that's going to be a bit of an issue. But we do get the, the Confusion. At least we get that before we, um, yeah, the Steel Spike. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't really mind losing Hat right now. Mm, we need the special defense drop as well from Ndidi. Can we get it three times in a row? No, we don't. Okay. Hmm. Now who's going to be best to bring in right now? Simeon? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Like an Iron Head. 
a knockoff might be good. Um, hmm. I kind of want to keep the Raladon to as late as possible. Like, I want to concentrate down on the Mudsdale right now. That's the, the big idea. So, um, I guess the follow me from the Togekiss is going to be a little bit annoying to deal with. Uh, but we can protect the Simeon totally. Um, and an Iron Head and a Psychic should be enough to get rid of the Togekiss. Could we just protect Ndidi though this turn? I think you're more concerned about Ndidi really. Like, but you probably got Dazzling Gleam and then Max into Max into Ndidi, I reckon. I could really do with getting rid of the, the Mudsdale though. Really like we just want to get damage onto it, to be honest. So let's see. Max quick. Okay, we can take it. It's the last turn of Trick Room as well. See, we should get the Iron Head off before... Yeah, we do. Can we get the flinch? Because we're going to probably need it. Oh, no. <laughs> Dazzling. Oh, come on. Hate yourself in confusion. Come on. Yes! <laughs> okay. Uh, it doesn't really help us this next turn because... Togekiss does outspeed both both Pokemon. Um, hmm. We should have knocked off, shouldn't we? I think we have to... Probably... Let's go for a knockoff into the Mudsdale. And let's just go for a Protect with Ndidi. And just try and keep it on the field for when Duraludon comes in. Because our only hope here is the, the Togekiss hitting itself in confusion. Come on. <laughs> oh man, that sucks for my opponent. Okay, what are we knocking off? Salt Fest. Okay, well that makes things way easier to deal with. Although they are getting the additional boost here. Um, alright. Now that's the last turn of the max for the Mudsdale. So our Psychic should be hitting a little bit harder. I'm still worried about um, the Togekiss though, because it's... I mean, we go for the Iron Head for sure, and we'll go for a Psychic into the, the Muds. To the Muds. I don't know if we'll... Mm, is Ndidi going to be able to take a Dazzling Gleam? Potentially. Snaps out, Dazzling Gleam. The Simeon 100% goes down here. Now we don't take it with either. Ah. Okay. Well, it's all up to you, Duraladon. It's all up to you. Hmm. And... It's really tough. It's really, really tough. Because we're going to need to... We need to concentrate down on the Mudsdale first. If the Grim Snarl comes in and it's got Fake Out, then I don't think we can we can really do this. And we, we're kind of relying on... Is a Flash Cannon going to be enough to take down the Mudsdale? I don't even think it is. I think we probably need to Draco it. Because the Light Screen's still up. Mystical Fire. Let's see what this is. Wow. Wow. Weakness policy target is too much. Okay, well, very good game to my opponent. Is this going to be enough? Consolation knockout. Okay. See how strong the light screen's been here for my opponent. Um, and I guess it's a drawback with this team. Like, when you look at it, we're very, very specially based. And we've got one physical attacker, which is the Persimian. And it's not ideal to rely on against like teams like this, which are quite popular. Um, but very good game to my opponent. It's a little highlight to shoot, to kind of maybe... You know, maybe Torkoal would have been better to bring of a Persimian there. And then at least we could have brought it in. Um... And we would have been slow, so we would have had a, a little extra turn for Groom, and then maybe. Yeah, I think it probably would have been the better call. Right, well, my friends, I did say that the rental team we would do at the end of this episode, so we'll, we'll put this together now for you guys. And uh, if you'd like to try this team out, then be my guest. But if you do, do me a favor and let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of it and how you got on with the team and if there was things that you would like to change about it then um do do comment i would love to hear your thoughts on that um 
Manage teams to share. We need to get rid of a team again. We need to clear out. Okay, what are we getting rid of? Um, Not something so recent. Uh, I don't want to get rid of the SQ team. It's like one of my favorite teams. Rosa Raid was recent. That's recent. Um, Lapras probably still being used. We have to get rid of the SQ team. Don't make public. Okay. I feel like this is going to be the slot what we're getting rid of in future. Um... Yeah, all these teams are actually public at the minute. Uh, they're all in previous videos. So if you guys would like to try them out, uh, be my guest. Go back through the old videos that we've got up on the channel and uh, you'll be able to get the rental codes from them. They're all labeled properly in, in which video they are in. So, uh, And if you do, definitely let me know and um, let me know what you thought of them. But here is the team for you, my friends. There is a code right there. Pop it in. Have a lot of fun with it. It's a very fun team. I think it's still got areas that you could improve on. But um, it was basically started because I wanted to play uh, Safety Goggles and Didi and Duraladon. I feel like that pairing is very strong. Maybe there's different ways you can go around building around that pairing. But I still feel they cover each other very well in this format. And in Didi, with its Follow Me Psychic Terrain support is something that I think is probably going to just pick up in usage more and more because it's very good, especially against disrupting um, the, the triple uh, ghost teams that we're seeing at the minute because of that normal typing and for that reason alone. Anyway, that is about as much as I've got to say about this team and about as much as I've got to say for this episode. So all I'm going to say to wrap things up is you take care of yourselves, my friends. We'll be back next week with another episode of our VGC 2020 battle series and um, just take care of yourselves until the next one. So until then, friends, take care and bye-bye.